Uh, how about John Roberts? Fox. Mr. President, thank you so much, Madam Prime Minister. Uh, it's my understanding, Mr. President, that you had an hour-long phone call this morning with President Enrique Peña Nieto of Mexico. Uh, could we get an update on where the relationship is? Further to that, what do you say to your critics who claim that you have already soured a relationship with a very important U.S. ally? And Madam Prime Minister, if I may ask you as well, are you concerned about the state of relations between the United States and Mexico? Sir? Well, I think the Prime Minister, first of all, has other things that she's much more worried about than Mexico and the United States relationship. But I will say that we had a very good call. Uh, I have been very strong on Mexico. I have great respect for Mexico. I love the Mexican people. Uh, I work with the Mexican people all the time. Great relationships. But as you know, Mexico, uh, with the United States, has outnegotiated us and beat us to a pulp through our past leaders. They've made us look foolish. We have a trade deficit of $60 billion with Mexico. On top of that, the border is soft and weak. Drugs are pouring in. And I'm not going to let that happen. And General Kelly is going to do a fantastic job at Homeland Security. As you know, we swore him in yesterday. Uh, we have a really, I think, a very good relationship, the President and I. And we had a talk that lasted for about an hour this morning, and we are going to be working on a fair relationship and a new relationship. But the United States cannot continue to lose vast amounts of business, vast amounts of companies, and millions and millions of people losing their jobs. That won't happen with me. We're no longer going to be the country that doesn't know what it's doing. And so we are going to renegotiate our trade deals, and we're going to renegotiate uh, other aspects of our relationship with Mexico. And in the end, I think it'll be good for both countries. Uh, but it was a very, very friendly call. I think you'll hear that from the President, and I think you'll hear that from the people of Mexico that really represent him and represent him very well. Uh, and I look forward to, over the coming months, we'll be negotiating, and we'll see what happens. But I'm representing the people of the United States, and I'm going to represent them as somebody should represent them, not how they've been represented in the past, where we lose to every single country.